take a look at this, and you scored a grand total of, what was it, 20, 33 points in the first half, and you ended up scoring 36 points in the third quarter alone. Well, what did Coach say to you all at halftime to just get you motivated to come out like that? That's and you repeat it. Okay, <laughs> it's a game of runs. They're a great team, but we had to like stick with it. He wanted us to be down, well, hopefully down by at least two or three going into fourth quarter. But uh, we played extremely hard, defensively getting stops, and we were able to get a lead going into the fourth. Wow, well, uh, triple double, first one you can remember here. Wait, when you you had a triple sorry. Yes, oh, first. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry, I didn't hear you. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, I didn't realize until the end of the game, but I was just trying to get every person that was making shots open, which was Asia and Maisha. So um, I just think it was a team effort, and I'm glad we were able to come back and pull out the win because it wouldn't have mattered if we would have lost. Asia had two points at halftime, ended with 36. Uh, that bucket must have looked as big as a man will ever do right there. I mean, she's a great shooter, so uh, shooters got to shoot, basically. That's our motto. And she's a shooter, um, so we just have to keep looking for her. It didn't matter how many points she had at halftime. We just got to keep giving her the ball because we know that she she's capable of making them. She showed us that she's capable of doing it. So we just know we got to keep giving her the ball, and she's going to knock them down. She showed that tonight. They were dropping an incredible amount of threes on you in the first half. There. What type of defensive strategy did, did you make to knock that back on? Well, we started off playing man. I'm in zone, and they were just hitting threes. So we tried to go five, uh, man, and then we just had to keep switching up defenses. They're a great team, like I said, and they're capable of knocking down threes. And we just had to get out on the shooters and try to stop them. Uh, up by 20 points at one time, they knocked this thing all the way back in, <laughs> like five on you. Just it was a topsy turvy game. What were they doing to, to turn that thing back around at the end there? Uh, I think they were just capitalizing on our mistakes. Um, so coach just uh, made sure we knew that <clears throat> that's what they were doing. So we need to make sure that we lessen those mistakes and just hop back on top <laughs> and made sure that we were um, playing the same we were the way same way we were when we got the lead. So we just had to play defense and get stops. That was most important, not the scoreboard. Let's Peterson quite the competitor for her. Just talk about how she played against you all tonight. I mean, she plays the same way against us every time. It's always hard, always 100%, and it's efficient. I mean, some players go 100% and they're not efficient with making shots, but um, she's four for eight from the three-point line. Like, everything she does is great in every area. So we just had to stop her as best we can and then try to make other people on their team score. Takeaways for this one as you get ready for a really, really tough trip kind of going down to Duke. You know, what, do you, what did you do well? What do you need to improve on? How we start the game, I would say. Uh, we started off pretty slow and uh, sluggish. And just, well, we knew, I feel like we knew our scout. It was just just knowing capitalizing. it. Yeah, capitalizing it even more. And um, Duke's a great team. They have a lot of shooters on that team, too. So it's basically the, kind of like the same scout. And I think it's also um, just keeping in mind every play matters. And also, we're not going to be at home this time. So we need to make sure that we stay together as a team on the road.